Now examples. Simplify the following trigonometric expressions. Number one, one over cosine squared theta minus one over cotan squared theta. Whenever it's one over something, recall the reciprocal identities. One over cosine is sec and one over cotan is tan. So one over cosine squared is sec squared and minus one over cotan squared is tan squared. Whenever it's a function squared, plus or minus a function squared, recall the Pythagorean identities. We have 6 squared minus 10 squared. 6 squared minus 10 squared equals 1. So this is equal to 1. Number 2, sine pi over 2 minus theta over cosine 2 pi minus theta. Let's start by 2 pi minus theta. To understand this, recall the unit circle. This is this is 2 pi or 360. This is the angle that represents 2 pi minus theta. Actually, 2 pi minus theta means 360 minus theta. And the angle is in the fourth quadrant. 360 minus theta is equivalent to negative theta. And cosine 360 minus theta equals cosine negative theta. So cosine 2 pi minus theta equals cosine negative theta. If it's cosine negative theta, recall the negative angle identities. Cosine negative theta is always positive. So cosine negative theta equals cosine theta. Down we have cosine pi. Cosine 2 pi minus theta equals cosine theta. And up, sine pi over 2 minus theta. If it's pi over 2 minus theta, recall the complementary angle identities. Sine pi sine pi over 2 minus theta equals cosine theta. If it doesn't have co, you just put co and remove the pi over 2 to be cosine theta. So up it's cosine theta and also down it's cosine theta. Simplify it equals 1. Number 3, sine theta times cosec theta minus cosine squared theta. The easiest way to simplify an identity is to change all functions into sine and cosine. Keep the sine and cosine and change the cosec. So sine theta, so it, this is equal, so this is equal to sine theta. Change the cosec using the reciprocal identities. Cosec theta is 1 over sine theta. So, so times 1 over sine theta. Minus, keep the cosine squared as it is, so minus cosine squared theta. This equals, now, here we have sine theta up and down to simplify. We get 1 minus cosine squared theta. If it's 1 plus or minus something squared, recall the Pythagorean identities. We have 1 minus cosine squared. 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared. So this equals sine squared theta.